Welcome home, welcome home, people. How to stay motivated when you have lost your mojo? Well, I'm gonna contradict myself as to some of my uh, past videos because I have reevaluated some things on my journey. Speaking of which, the journey is the first thing we wanna talk about of the three. We have to imagine what our lives would be like if we did pull the trigger on the thing that we want to be motivated about. For example, let's talk about myself and welcome home. How would my life be different if I decided to pull the trigger and make the videos and write these speeches? Uh, well, I wouldn't have spoken at one of the one of the most beautiful music festivals in California, Lucidity here in Santa Barbara for my friends and for my hometown. I wouldn't have made connections with the people I've made over in Australia, over on the East Coast, um, over in Europe. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have made the decision to write a book, which I'm finished with now, by the way. Um, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have the friends that I have. I wouldn't I wouldn't have developed as a person. And these these things are the are the that's the movement that we're looking for, basically. That that's the thing that moves you because the journey sometimes sucks. Sometimes you're not motivated. A lot of the times you're not motivated and you can't see how it's going to work out and you can't see uh, anything happening right now and, and, and there's a lot of things that get in the way. But if you, if you can imagine your life, what it would be if you didn't pull the trigger, well, if you're trying to be motivated to do something, you're probably not happy with where you are right now, right? And not that, not that you don't appreciate the world that you're in, and I know you have to be happy with the moment right now, and I'm not saying to start being negative. I'm just saying, if you're like me, we, if you follow my channel, then I would assume that you, you and I have a lot of things in, in, um, in common. One of those things is knowing exactly what the rest of your life is gonna be like. I get afraid when when I go, if I wake up in the morning and go, this is it. You know, I'm 27 now. If this is it until I die, then then it, that's kind of scary. So I use that as motivation. How how will my life be if I do what I got to do? And how will my life be if I don't do what I have to do? And that's what keeps you moving in the night. That's what ties a personal commitment to your motivation because it's bigger than you. You know, that's, this, is, this is like finding your why. If you find your why, and your why is, is larger than you, and if it's something substantial, if it's something you're passionate about, nine times out of 10, your why will be bigger than you. Where, where you will end up in life based on, on that which motivates you when, you, when you finally make it, that place will be so substantial, so outside of yourself that when you are not feeling motivated, you'll still do something anyways, which will bring me to my next point. Number two is make sure you do something every day, um, even if it's small. So for me again on this Welcome Home channel, uh, I try to make videos and I try to edit, but sometimes I get done with work and I'm just tired as hell and I don't want to do anything, but I still do. So instead of you know making a video, which is what I should be doing, um, I'll go on YouTube and I'll comment I'll comment the shit out of different people's YouTube channels. I'll sit there for an hour, an hour and a half, looking for things that I like, looking for things that catch my attention, looking for people who, who are on the same journey as I as as I am, and I'll watch what they what they have. I'll see what they have to say, and then I'll comment and I'll look at them. Hey, man, I like what you're doing. Keep it up. One, because I like when people do that to me. It, it helps motivate me. So I'm not only my keeping myself moving forward. I'm helping other people be motivated to do what they want to do. And then when I wake up the next day feeling guilty that I didn't make a video, I still know, all right, at least I got something done. At least I wrote another speech. At least I edited my book. At least I uh, networked and expanded my channel, even though I didn't make the video. Because if, if, we don't, if we don't do something daily, what ends up happening is we lose motivation, or not motivation, but we lose, um, we lose momentum. And momentum, momentum is substantial. Because it, it, having to start from, from zero 
it, it's a it's a mind fuck. Having to start from zero means that you have to. Uh, you, you don't have anything behind you to move you, which ironically will kill your momentum or <laughs> will kill your motivation. So you lose that momentum, you lose the motivation. You know, think of the time where you got super drunk and you managed to drink a tall glass of water every hour, hour and a half. And then you wake up the next day and your future self is looking at your past self going, yo, thank you a whole bunch because I'm hurting so bad right now and I cannot imagine how much more I would be hurting had you not had that water last night. Even if it's small, you know, you don't have to do substantial things every day. If you want to stay motivated, you have to, you have to chip away. You have to chip away, chip away, chip away. Uh, consistency, persistency, these things are what drive motivation because, number three, because motivation is a frame of mind. This is, this is probably the most important part of this video. Motivation is a frame of mind. You have to understand that uh, like all other frames of mind, like your happiness, your sadness, fear, depression, everything, it, it comes and it goes. It's a rhythm, it's a cycle. Just like everything else on this planet has its time to serve and its time to recede, so does motivation. So if you understand that your motivation is not always gonna be there, we can act on that. So when you do have that motivation, you can you can pounce on it. You come in hot, you come in 110 because you know that it's not always going to be there. And then you also know that just like your other emotions, you can manipulate it. You can trigger it when uh, when it wouldn't have been there before. You can use your, uh, your understanding of your personal tie, your end result. How is my life gonna be different? You can use that to trigger motivation. Um, Staying persistent, doing something every day. All right, damn, I've had no motivation this whole week, but every day this week I've managed to write something. I've managed to, to contact people. i would sent off a couple of emails. I read a book. As long as you're chipping away every day when that motivation finally kicks in, it, it's gonna be a whole new world of, of this eccentric, vibrational, just thriving power behind you because you now you've hit it. Now it's swinging in your direction. There used to be this author, I can't remember her name, but she said she would always keep a pen in her hand because to her, her muse was something that was outside of herself. Her, her muse would literally, literally, she said it would come thundering out of the hills. She would feel the ground shaking beneath her feet and she would know right then and there that she was about to have a spark of creativity. So she would run to her house if she was on the field. She would run to the house and she would feel this vibration just coming faster, louder, faster, louder. And she would get inside the door and she would slam the door behind her and then she would be riding. She would be riding as she was holding on to the idea because it was coming and it was going. It was not there to stay, right? It was her job to be prepared for when that momentum, when that motivation, when that muse kicked in and she would cling to it with all her might as she wrote with her other hand so that the idea wouldn't slip away. That's how you have to see your motivation. If you can see your motivation as something that's fleeting, because everything is fleeting, everything is coming and going, then you can use that. One, you can use it because you can come in 110 when the motivation does hit. Um, and, and two, you can understand and not be depressed or sad or unmotivated when the motivation isn't there. Because you can look back and just say, well, I." All right, I get it. I understand that motivation is always going to be there, but I can't rely on an emotional state of being to get things done because emotional states of being are always coming and going. And then you can backdoor it. Once you have that revelation and you say, I'm going to do it anyways, you start doing what you're doing. You start doing what you love. You start doing your passion and you realize you're having a great fucking time doing it. Like I was exhausted after work today and I was going to do one of those things, right? I'll just comment on other people's channels and, and do this and I'll do that. And I was like, no, Keith, I haven't put out a video in a hell of days. You gotta get out there and get something done. So I'm out here and I'm walking down the beach and then it, it takes all of a minute and a half for my feet to hit this sand, for my toes to sink in the ground to realize this is exactly where I need to be. This is exactly where I need to be. I need to be out here shooting videos, getting myself out into the world, spreading knowledge and love and light and, and, and getting it done.
doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter if I'm motivated to do it. It doesn't matter if I'm sad. It doesn't matter if I have nothing to say. You just, you just gotta keep doing stuff. And then you realize that as you do it, you start creating that emotional state of motivation. Instead of waiting for it to hit you, you start to hit it. You become a player of the chess game instead of a piece of the chess game, right? So that, that's the motivation. That's it, you know? Stay consistent, do something every day, chip away. You know, tell yourself, hey, where would I be if I didn't do this 10 years from now? Where would I be 10 years from now if, if I decided to jump? If I closed my eyes and I said, I'm doing it, this is it, you know? And, and understand that that's what's gonna pull you through when you don't have the momentum. That's what's going to pull you through when you don't have the motivation, when you're not in, uh, you know, you're not feeling it, when you don't have that excitement. Like that, we're not waiting for anybody. Momentum, motivation, that better keep up. Because we got places to go, we got things to see. We're changing worlds here. If we're changing worlds, we can't rely on some emotional state of being that comes and goes, right? We gotta be above that. We gotta rise above that swinging pendulum Rise above it, because you're not going to stop that swing. You're not going to stop it, but you can rise above it. That's what we're doing here. We're rising above. Welcome home. Orgasm is all about a release of tension. The more tension you can build, the, the more will be released, like a dam. Uh, or that's why angry sex is such a good thing, because anger is a form of tension. So you, have, you, you, you build that tension, and then the sex, the orgasm, will release that tension.